Today I'm joined with my band director and the director of the Sherryland Rattler Band, Mr. Perea. Four, five, six, seven. Hi, uh, well, <laughs> to, to start us off, when people think of the band, they usually think of us playing in pep rallies or the football game, but the reality is that there's a lot more than just that. Can you elaborate on it? We start usually in mid-winter designing a show that gets created over the spring and introduced to kids before they come back into the summer. And then we start training into the summer for a competitive season that lasts pretty much from the last to middle week in September all the way into November. And so while the football team is doing their thing and, and doing football contests and preparing to get to get into district games and go on into playoffs, we too are preparing to uh, go to early season contests that kind of get us ready for the late season contests, which are pigskin, and then the advancing contests out of pigskin area, and then on state years, uh, and then advancing year to state. Mm -hmm. And how do these contests work? Um, well, normally you go to a contest um, on any on, on a given weekend, and there's two um, two levels of performance. The majority of the bands, anywhere between 15 and 30, uh, compete for a, in a preliminary round, and then they take a certain set of numbers, maybe 10 to 12, depending on which contest it is um, up into finals. And then the finals bands will perform in the evening. So usually it's qualified for the in the day for the evening show. And then in the evening show, it's about rankings. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel like the energy is during these contests? Is um, it really competitive? Oh, yeah, abso absolutely. Um, the, I, I think definitely um, something that's been good for the Sherryland band is we kind of created our own vibe coming out this year and doing our own thing. And... Um, cheering on other groups that were our competitors, not because it meant that we wanted to beat them, but we wanted everybody in the show to have a great show this year because um, it made our season more meaningful if every band was good, that we would be able to bring it to the table if we were one of the best or the best bands of all the good bands. So um, the vibe has been really good. Um, in other years, I, I felt like it's been more competitive and more about wanting to beat another team. But um, I think this year has been more about having the best quality show and, and, and entertaining the crowd the most and then hoping that every other band out there does it because in the end, it's really a contest against yourself and uh, what you're being able to do with the product that you have. Exactly. Yeah, well, obviously, all of this sounds like a lot of work, especially for a student. How did you get motivated as a student yourself to pursue music education and being a band director as a career? Oh, I think definitely by my mentors, um, people that uh, I was involved with in Drum and Bugle Corps and through the band activity, um, something that band is particular to in every generation of time um, is that large amounts of students of the student body are involved in band. And so what ends up happening is uh, parents grow old and have children and they put their kids in band. Um, as they were in band and so there's definitely generational band kids in our program Generational band kids in terms of my older brother was in the Sherryland Rattler band So it becomes a kind of a legacy and a family affair as far as um, Our activity goes and that's something that's been really unique about band and something unique I think about band across the board is we're at a point in, in, in the in the activity that there's so many generational band students and so I think that's kind of why it, it, it's it's stayed very strong throughout the years and of course football being what it is um and needing the support it needs I, I mean we've been really happy to be a part of all the the season that they're able to bring too i feel like you've learned a lot of wisdom when it comes to band in general uh, obviously a lot of people in this campus don't get to experience how band is could you share a couple lessons you've learned from band that you feel like any high schooler should know Um, yeah, I think any anybody, whether they were a great player or an average player or not a great player, uh, being in a band program and being in our band program would learn something about accountability, um, hard work, and what that means, what determination means, uh, what sacrifice for a better whole or for a group, um, what being outside of your comfort level or your comfort zone means to be, um, what it means to be able to be part of a group where you may not always agree on the choices being made, but have to follow for the betterment of the group. And I think these are all like key things that you take on in, in adulthood. Um, learning how to manage and work with others and, and manage maybe, well, you're a drum major, so you would know, um, managing 150 people before you even are out of high school and that and what that really means and how that translates into your adult life. Now you can go out your first year in college or If you had a, a, a nice set of money, buy a franchise to a business and probably run it. 
because of the ability level to, to, that it takes to manage maybe the, the, the capacity of the band. And that takes a lot from a person. That's, those are some things that people learn um, through the activity inadvertently, just being part of this big, big, um, big program. And so, and that's every band program. You learn that to some scale. And luckily, I think in this band program, we've learned a lot because we've been really successful and we've done a lot of great things this year. Went across the state, um, you know, literally almost a time zone away and, and did really great. And I'm, I've been really kind of pleased with all the things that they're learning, other than just playing well and doing performing, you know, but learning about maturity, learning about uh, being accountable and accountability. Mm -hmm. You know, I think those are key things that people miss or don't understand that you get when you're in band. Yeah, well, um, this Saturday we had our pigskin competition. We got a couple clips of it, so play them away. I have faith that we are going to advance at it tonight. Um, very much so that I really already have my mind thinking about next week and what we can do to even up the game for that. Okay, so we're about to head off into our warm-up station. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a stretch, a visual warm-up, then a musical warm-up right before we perform. They, we, we, they give us around a whole hour to prepare for our performance. We get there, we perform, it's over. I'm really proud of you guys, so you should be proud of yourselves too. You worked so hard, okay? So now it's the time to focus and to get it here on the field, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. Right now we're about to go to our pigskin warm-up. I really hope it's a good one. Okay, so we just finished our performance. We're heading back. We're about to talk as a band to evaluate how we did, but I'm really happy with it. You think they noticed the speed? I I, th I think we did really good. Hey. You know, I mean, sure, I could, you know, you could nitpick it to death, but overall, you need to feel good about it. Now, like I told you, hey, tomorrow or Monday. It sucks. sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think this is all the time we have for today, but while our time here is over, our season is still on its way. The Sherryland Marching Band will be performing in the 5A area contest this Saturday in the PSJA Stadium. Mr. Perea, thank you for coming in today, and thank you for your continued support for all of Sherryland. And students, we'll see you Thursday for a regularly scheduled episode of RCTV. Till next time.